Okay, Model Rocks 321 here. We are launching the space shuttle today. This is the Estes space shuttle, kit number 1284. I don't know how I remember that, but we're gonna be flying that one today. Probably try to get a couple flights off. Hopefully the fins survive hitting. I have a big parachute in there, so hopefully all goes well. It's Model Rocks 321. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check the links below. Support the channel any way you can. It's Model Rocks 321. All right, Model Rocks 321 here. We got the STS Space Shuttle launching in Phoenix, Arizona. This is a crewed mission going back to the International Space Station, taking four astronauts up and bringing four back home. The orbiter will be landing at Kennedy Space Center. We are set to launch going in five, four, three, two, one. All right. All right, we got the space shuttle. Model Rock 321 here. We are going on a C53, the S this space shuttle. Going in five, four, three, two, one. There it go on a C53. And we got parachute and we got glider, gliding, nose diving. Whoa, that's too hard. Wow, that was a hard hit of the glider. Nice launch though. We got some stuff to check. We got some stuff to check out, nose dived. All right, so we see the booster is on the ground. I'm gonna go over to the glider first. Man, that's supposed to be a trim day. I was supposed to be trimming the shuttle. Where did it go? It's over this way somewhere. See the booster. Shuttle, where are you at? Where are you at? Orbiter. Wow, he's over there. Yeah, that was kind of that was a nose dive. That was too straight of a launch. Wow, that was I was not expecting that kind of um. Here we go. So I found him. Here he is. And he is he nose dive for a hard crash, so I'm just gonna adjust the rudder. Oh yeah, there's definitely some damage there, but can get another flight off. <laughs> I can get another flight out of that. I have um, prepared to fly a couple times. So I have to adjust this rudder. I'm gonna make it a little more angled this time. I see the nose weight in there. Wow, nice flight though. Went up there pretty good. That was a nice flight. We got some damage up front. So I'm gonna do a small repair on that because I'm gonna get this guy flying again. Let's head over to, over, over to the Two solid rocket boosters in the fuel tank. Damn, that was, it was a nice flight though. I, wow. Tried to glide, then it just nose dive. All right, so here we go. Parachute, everything attached. So we're good here. Yeah, everything's good here. Had a lot of wadding in there, so parachute shouldn't have any singe. Yeah, so we're good. Yep. We got Oscar here on launch controller today yep so got some help here with me thanks oscar yep, so we're, gonna, we're gonna try this again so you just saw the first flight of the space shuttle kind of nose dived it started a little glide and then it just nose dove straight into the ground this time i have it trimmed a little bit different i have the elevator angled so hopefully we can get a nice glide out of this one this will be flight number two. The nose was slightly damaged or damaged. <laughs> I kind of taped it up because I want to get another flight on a C53. Seemed to be a pretty good motor for this. So we're going to go for it again. Our Rocks 321, hit that subscribe button and thumb up the video. All right, here we go. We got the space shuttle going on a C53 for the second flight. Going in T minus five, four, three, two, one. There it go. It's up there. Oh. Parachute got stuck. How'd that happen? Parachute got oh. stuck. Well, all right, so we just hit the ground. <laughs> Glider stayed attached. Kind of a nose dive. Let's see what kind of damage we got. Let's see what we got. Rough day with the space shuttle. Uh. Hit the ground, okay, oh, sing, I see some. All right, so we got 
Orbiter busted open. Orbiter's done <laughs> for today. Yeah, wow. Well, parachute ejection happened. We got some melting, singe. A few things happened. Did we get ejection? En engines jammed way up in there. I had a C5. It did probably eject. I had a C53 that had um didn't fire at one time. So yeah, this may be the shuttle may be done for the rest of the day. I just wanted to I wanted to get three flights because you can see the elevators jam themselves way forward. Orbiter kind of busted open. See some parts here. So this is the wreckage. But the space shuttle is cool though. I would definitely build or fly this again. I mean, I'm surprised it looks like that still. Yeah, it hit. Um, yeah, it went. It hit side. I mean. I can see where you want to hold that and uh, yeah. yeah, you film while I. So, did ejection fire? Yeah, so ejection looked like it. Looked like ejections did fire. Wow, I'm not sure what happened. How did that get stuck? How did that get stuck? Anyway, I'm going to review all this when I get back. Um, you can see some, some burn happen. That's strange. Motors jam way up in there, of course. Wow, what a shame. I kind of like this one. This thing is a good flyer, man. If you can get that glide going, you got to... This is a nice um, nice model. So it has some some damage now. Still feel hot. Orbiter. Yeah, Orbiter is suffering. So I'm going to look into trying to get all these parts. I'm looking into trying to get this rebuilt. There's something to do now. <laughs> you know this hobby. Model Rock 321, guys. Space Shuttle. At least I got two flights off. Well, one, two crashes. I got two crashes off, let's say. <laughs> Alright, so there's that. Any more parts I need? Because I might have to rebuild. Got some stuff to work on. But yeah. So we got some more. Um, so that's it for the space shuttle. Check the debriefing. We're going to show you that right now. We're going to go over this. What got to be done to get this back in the air. Sorry, shuttle crew. I failed you. Smile Rocks 321. Subscribe to the channel. So this is debriefing time. Today was a tragic day for the crew members of the space shuttle. This was a discovery model. Um, decals there on that side, but it fell off this side. These decals are just peeling off. I kind of put tape to hold them on. But man, what a shame, what a shame. This one hurts a little. I lost the, it's just crashed, man. The first crash kind of opened it up. The next crash, I saw the the orbiter got stuck to the uh, fuel tank some kind of way. It was weird going up. I saw like a hitch. I think that was I think one of the uh, the cables that hook up to the motor got hooked on the fin or something. It caused it to do a little wobble. But the great super C motor it kept pushing it, man. It pushed it and still gave it a relatively straight flight. Like it arched over a little somewhat, but still gave a decent flight. Um, that second flight was the one that really totaled everything it um now I see inside I can see inside of here like the strings that hold this together it's no it's uh, it's still kind of pulling it's just gonna need some adjustment for this elevator yeah it's got some some serious some serious damage some serious work to be done if I'm gonna do the work or not um, possibly can get a rebuild on this front section yeah piece just fell off there as long as you have all the parts you can kind of get this back up get this reshaped and um built back up again um there's Thought the nose weight was in there. There's some, <clears throat> yeah, there's some nose weight up front. But yeah, just a tragic day for the shuttle, man. Yeah, you hate to uh, hate to see that happen to one like this. This vintage, out of production. This cone, luckily the cone was off, and this was it kind, it kind of ejected, but it still it hit on here. It ejected. The ejection charge did fire, but the orbiter was still attached to it, so it was just um just terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible it fired. I just don't know what could have caught up. I was looking, seeing if there was a shroud. Every it got pushed out partially. So this is a um you know serious loss. Let me get all this out here. I could have dumped this in the trash, but I'll just put it all right here. All that charred up stuff. Yeah, I'll put this in the trash right now. Well, I'll do that in a minute. But anyway, yeah, it pushed the like the other one, it pushed the engine forward way up in there. Man, just this is bad. So Possibly a rebuild. I can see some stuff to be fixed here. This can definitely get fixed. Get all the saturday see how far the engine got pushed forward. 
but this is the main part to get fixed so looking at just redoing this front saving what's there trying to get some stuff built back up man gotta get this thing trimmed out right so this works again first flight i had it flat i was un it was unclear first flight i had the, there we go I had the elevators kind of working i can feel it's kind of yeah, it's working again seem to be working had it flat and then you lock it in place the next one i had it kind of with a nice angle i had an angle on it and i locked it in place on the side you pull the string and you lock it inside this top motor by just putting it in a slot um but and that one i did never got a chance to see it got stuck it got stuck to the uh to the fuel tank something caused that to happen i'm trying to see yeah, everything's still everything's still good it just it just didn't detach it didn't detach but it went up i'm not sure what caused it to to stay we'll watch the footage again and take a look but yeah it was, i was planning on doing three flights on the super c i was planning on doing three flights i had two this motor is really perfect for this rock the c65 c63 is probably good too but the c6 i mean the c53 was great it was great for this um yeah so the charge did fire from what i hear i've had one um, one of these a while ago c a c53 that didn't fire it totally did not fire it was plugged in the other end but this one did appear to fire hopefully it fired strong enough but either way this was still attached and at least if the parachute would have came out it would all came down together but man yeah tragic loss man i do have another one of these brand new um, i have i have this kit still but yeah you hate to see this happen for such a rare rare part but this is rocketry i fly them this is part of the game i'm gonna try to get this all fixed up i definitely want to see this fly again I have decals for this. I was just trying to preserve those for the flights. So that is it, guys. And these right here, I can see where it ran forward. These went all the way in. And you can see the little indentations there where it damaged those. It's not bad, though. I'm glad these survived. And it's one less thing to have to repair. So pretty good. So you saw two flights of the shuttle. Both kind of had their issues. They do work. Nice boost, though. I will say that. The thing took off nice. It flies great. Like I guess if you catch a nice calm day like i had it you have a nice flyer the space shuttle is pretty cool the space shuttle is pretty cool they go for some high prices too so they're not um, necessarily a cheap not necessarily a cheap rocket you just want to try to flatten some of this out again man but that's part of the deal man part of the deal no guts no glory gotta fly them and i will be flying it again i'm gonna try to look into getting this fixed hopefully i can make it relatively easy to fix fill that all in get it whole front rebuilt it's a thin thin styrene plastic might be vacuum form but yeah similar yeah this is bad man this is bad this whole end is kind of crimped from getting hit but maybe salvageable oh this is good everything else is good well these and how these these still good let's see if these are still oh yeah these are still good so they go in pretty good still yeah we're good so all oh, this is good you can hit ram right into there yeah the instructions have you launching about like having them that far i really would like to i would like to fly them all the way up like this it seems like a neater neater package but really stable flying rocket cool design i like it even though it's scale but this is you know everybody can tell by the shape of that that's you know it's made to glide around as a model rocket it's not scale it's not true scale anyway but Guys, it's Model Rock 321. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Support the channel any way you can. Check the links below in the description. Estes discount codes right there. Um, website. Uh, just check whatever's down below and then support the channel. Drop a comment. Hit the thumb up at bare minimum. Helps me in the algorithm. Help people find the videos. Share this hobby around a little bit. And this is Model Rock 321. Catch y'all on another video. Man, what a shame. Sorry, crew of the space shuttle.